Hello guys, welcome back. This is more 49ers news. Now this is on day six of the training camp. Before I start the training camp, look in the description below what I'll be doing this season for the NFL uh, on the preseason and the regular season. So uh, there'll be a link down below of the YouTube channel, uh, the YouTube video, sorry. Look at it, tell me what you think. And yeah, um, that's on that. Let's get into day six of the training camp. So as you can see, si.com forward slash nfl forward slash 49ers this is fan nation all 49ers article well good and not so good from day six of the 49ers training camp this is by grant cohen um this guy is amazing look at his youtube channel he knows what he's talking about and he was there for day six of the training camp so let's read he's analyzing the best and the worst performances from day six of the 49ers training camp uh, here's what stood out on day six of the 49ers training camp. Keep in mind, it, uh, this was the first day for the players who wore pads. So here we go. <coughs> the good. Number one, defensive end D Ford did not uh, participate in one-on-one -on -one pass rush drills, but played ex uh, extensively during the 11 on 11s and recorded one sack. Ford has looked great in camp and has not taken any maintenance days to rest which means the 49ers have increased his uh, workload daily, and so far he's responded well. Shocking. That's good by D. Ford. Number two, defensive tackle. Uh, defensive tackle, Kent V.R. Street. Uh, beat starting left guard, Lincoln Thompson, twice during one-on-ones. Uh, Thompson is the guard whom Jason Kinlaw could not beat last year during the drill, which means Street currently is a better pass rusher than Kinlaw. Okay. Number three. Defensive tackle, DJ Jones. Beat starting centre, Alex Mack, with a rip move during the one-on-ones. Jones didn't have to strain too hard to win this matchup. That's very good. Number four. Defensive tackle, uh, Kevin Givens. Uh, beat Aaron Banks with a counter spin move, then beat Tom Compton the same way. Givens has the best counter moves of all the 49ers defensive tackles. All right, number five, guard, Aaron Banks. This is good. Uh, beat Eric Armstead during one-on-ones, then Armstead tried to uh, ball rush past him. Banks held the ground. Uh, it's only a matter of time before he becomes a starter, even though he hasn't taken any first uh, string reps yet. Aaron Banks is doing better than we all thought. Running back, Trey Simone. This is decent. Uh, currently is the number two... Oh. Currently is the number two running back on the depth chart behind Raheem Mostert, uh, meaning S Simone gets more reps with the starters than all the other rookies combined. Simone clearly belongs with the starters. Today he has two long runs against the first team defence. Okay. Number seven, running back, Eli Mitchell. As well as Simone has played Mitchell, uh, has played even better, he's currently in the second best running back on the team after Mostert. Almost all of Mitchell's runs gain back yards. Okay. Number eight, free safety. Uh, Jamie Ward. Uh, nearly intercepted a Jimmy G pass intended for George Kittle. It looked like Ward could have easily picked off the throw. But at least, uh, but, at the li uh, but at the last second, decided to bat, to bat it down instead. Probably because he wants to keep the help for the 49ers boost Jimmy G's trade value. What a team player. Number nine, tight end, George Kittle. Uh, caught two passes in one practice for the first time in this camp. Good to see the young talent and finally take some strides. He has promising future of he, uh, if he works hard. Number 10, wide receiver, Trent Sheffield. Caught a deep touchdown pass from Trey Lance and led all the 49ers in catches. Sheffield is a special teams aide who most currently will make the team. He's outworking his competition. <coughs> That's good. Number 11 quarterback, Josh Rosen. Completed a 20-yard pass uh, at the sideline to fullback, Josh Hooked. This was similar to the throw Nick Mullins missed against the, uh, against the Philadelphia Eagles last season. Okay, that's decent. That's very, very good. Now, the not-so-good. Wide receiver, Debo Samuel. Missed practice with a groin tightness. It was only a matter of time until uh, Samuel got injured. He's one of the most injury-prone players on the team. But good news is he spent the morning during sprints under the same supervision of trainer Dustin Perry. So the injury must be 
must not be too severe. Number two, Nick Bosa. Yet again, this guy ain't having a good luck. Still hasn't participated in one-on-ones or 11-11s, which is surprising. Camp is halfway over. After practice, I asked Shanahan and, uh, when Bosa will do some physical competition. And Shanahan said when he's ready and left it at that. When will Bosa be ready? And how did Ford become ready before him? But it's ain't looking good for Bosa, I'm telling you now. Um, number three, the right cornerback position. It's awful. Today, Kevin Webster started there. And he shouldn't have even made make the team. The 49ers currently have just one healthy NFL caliber cornerback on their roster, Jason Vern. Everyone else is replaceable. They need Emmanuel Mosley to return ASAP and play well. Fucking hell. Alright. Uh, four, guard Daniel uh, Brunskill. Lost his reps during one-on-ones. Uh, Daniel is a hard worker, but he's a, formal, he's a former undrafted free agent who lacks natural talent. Aaron Banks should take his job at right guard by week one. Number five, quarterback Nate Stutfield. For a pick six, I still don't understand why the 49 signed this uh, statue in April after they allegedly had already decided to draft Trey Lance, who's not a statue. Uh, Stutfield stinks and is literally nothing in common with Lance's skill set. Smart guy, though. Okay, fair enough. But yet still, I do not care about anyone else. I really, really don't. Answer me this question. Where the fuck is Bosa sitting at right here, right now? I keep saying this, guys. It, it's, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. It ain't looking happy. I'm not impressed. Okay, Bosa's got a torn ACL. He's been healthy. Training's going well. You know, we've seen him on videos, doing runnings. He's, you know, he's back. He needs to be hit hard now because I cannot see him in an offense season at all. You know what I mean? At all. I cannot see him do nothing. Off season, I can't see him do nothing. He ain't done nothing. We're halfway through. I cannot see this guy doing anything at all. Not one thing at all. Regular season, maybe. But what happens if someone hurts him hard? He needs to be hurt hard now. I know it sounds stupid, but if you don't hit him now... What's this guy going to do? Seriously, what is this guy going to do? If you don't get him in training. Like, uh, maybe it's just me, but this is my thoughts on Bosa. He's your main guy for that role, what he's in. The sacks, the interceptions, the whatever, man. He's your main guy to keep fighting. What's he doing now? He hasn't. Anticipated than anything else. He's still sore. That's a fact. Because he ain't doing nothing. He's not being vaccinated. What's that about? Get your ass moving. According to reports on... And bearing in mind, I'm in London. So to look for reports on... Anything. On the 49ers. Full stop. I have to wait till like... 11pm. 12. Until 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Because we're that far, you know, we're you know, we're about six, seven, eight, nine hours behind. Everyone's saying the 49ers are like the dark horses of the team to get to, let alone a wild card, but a playoffs. And that's what I've heard. We ain't gonna get nowhere unless our top guys are ready. Bosa ain't ready. Fact. Fact, fact, fact. Until he does something, until they get him participating in stuff. I don't know what's going on. But still, guys, that's it. That's my fault. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what's going on with Bosa. Leave your comments down. Tell me what you're going with day six of the 49ers training camp. Uh, thank you very much for the 40 subscribers. I'm really fortunate. Hubble appreciated you guys subscribe. And if you guys are new, subscribe to do a lot more 49ers news, reviews, reactions, a lot more streaming and gaming. Because I'm getting into that. I'm loving that. And, um, yeah, thank you very much for, for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.